and it moves too. Like, who don't like a duster? Like, who don't like a duster, a caftan? Something you could just throw over your shoulders. This is a really good one, guys. If you don't already have this one, I would say definitely grab this on the next pattern sale. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shitoka. On this channel, I share fashion, sewing, and home decor. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate you returning. So today, I'm just going to do a quick review on this. I guess you can call this a duster, a caftan, on this quick make that I made a few days ago. Um, I actually wore it a few nights ago to a birthday dinner, and then I wanted to put it on and style it for this video. So this pattern that I'm gonna be sharing today is a new pattern. This one actually just came out in 2022, and this is Simplicity 9602, and it is described as a Mrs. Captain and Wrap. So I made it a few days ago and I want to give you guys like a quick review on how it went and if I make it again. Um, so here is the pattern. That is the display number. So again, it is 9602. I'm going to insert also um, a picture of it so you guys can see better views of it. But I saw this. I really liked it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab another caftan type pattern in my stash when uh, Joann's was having the 199 sale. I went ahead and scooped it up. I do have other uh, kind of caftan patterns, but I want to try this one and see if it was different from any of the other ones that I sold up. So I did version D, so view D, and I did it without the belt. I just wanted it to just be more of a free flowing caftan. I didn't think that I would wear it um, like closed up or anything with the belt. I just figured I just like this flowy look of it and I really love how it turned out. So, and I love the length of them. You'll see on the pattern envelope there are a few different lengths and there are a few different sleeve variations. I opted for view D. Um, there are some views that have like a flounce on them. I thought that was kind of interesting, but I didn't think that that was you know my cup of tea so I just left that off of there but it's kind of like a mid um, sleeve so it hits right around my elbow and I didn't change anything as far as um, extending or anything because I do have longer arms but I felt like it would be fine just at this length especially too because it's kind of like a wider um, sleeve it's not a complete bell sleeve but it is like a little bit wider it's not really like a fitted sleeve so again I did BD and I cut a size 18 um, I do like this size I don't feel like um, I should have done a smaller size I did get the pattern envelope for 16 to through 24 um, so I like that uh, feel of this 18 it is very nice and flowy really really like it I don't feel any restriction or anything because this is recommended that you use a woven fabrics the recommended fabrics are your chalets your shamus cotton blends lawns crepe de chine double gauze rayons linen blends stuff like that so so it can have that really nice like flowy easy look for me, I actually use a uh, crepe de chine that I got locally at a fabric store here, um, the Fabric Warehouse on 21st Street. If I have any local people here, you guys know what I'm talking about with the warehouse. So yeah, I saw this fabric. I actually was going to use this to make a Vogue dress that I saw. It's like that really, really pretty long slip dress. But I just was like, you know what? I'm going to get around to that pattern and I don't have like a... Uh, an event or anything to go to to have that in that really long like flowy slip dress so I was like you know what let me go ahead and make a little wrap or cap tan so that I can actually get a few wears out of it before the weather starts getting cool so I'm really glad that I actually did that and I'll just pick a different fabric for that when the time comes so I actually only picked up three yards and it was enough for me to make it um I do Think I would have had enough to make the belt as well. I do have like a little bit left of the fabric, but yeah, three yards for this one. So View D only has nine pieces, but I only used the eight because I did use the belt. And you guys, this has pockets. So of course I was happy about that. The fact that it had pockets, love it. 
really love it. You know, if things don't have pockets, we can always add them in there. We could just take a pattern piece from another um, pattern and add the pockets in there, but I just was glad that it had it in there already. The only thing you need for this pattern is interfacing for the neckline. It is an interfaced um, neck uh, back piece and then the front and moment of truth. I actually did screw up the facing, but this fabric is so busy, like you can't even tell, but it is kind of like sewn in here incorrectly. So it is like some puckering. I didn't feel like unpicking it and putting it back in there when I knew no one who doesn't sew was gonna know. <laughs> so I'm telling you guys, you guys know, but nobody else knew. It looks perfectly fine to me now. Like I said, if it wasn't this busy print, you would definitely be able to tell that it's like um, sticking out in some spots. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see it on camera, but it's just not laying the way it's supposed to lay. Um, still finished it. You know, it looks nice in the inside. I ended up using like a black um, interfacing, um, but it looks nice. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know. You guys know, because I told you, but that's it. But other than that, I did not change anything of this pattern besides not having the belt. Um, I like the length. I'll insert some pictures, of course, and video of me in it, of the length. Really, really nice. The first time that I wore, I wore with uh, like a tank dress and it was really nice. And then today I just decided to style it with a bodysuit and some jeans for like a more casual look. So yeah, really enjoyed this pattern. Let me see, is there anything else I'm gonna add? Again, I use the Crepe de Chine, love the flow. It is rated average. And I would say average, I feel like a beginner can do it. Um, as long as they've done like interfacing that simple adding the the next band just pay attention obviously the way you cut out like use the cut cut uh cut out layouts that they have inside there i think i was just like rushing through it and i ended up cutting it out on the wrong side and that's how my like facings got inverted but i feel like a beginner kit can do this pattern without a problem it does have um the front lay well I mean the flat lay installation of the sleeve so that might be different for a beginner but I think you can do it the normal way where you would just uh, sew the side seam up and the shoulder seam as normal and insert the sleeve I think it can go in there just fine but I did follow the instructions and do it the flat way um, to insert the sleeve and it was fine I do think that I'll make this pattern again because I like the fact that if you'll see on a pattern envelope or in the line drawings, it is in sections. So I can really see this caftan where it's one color at the top and a different color at the bottom. You could definitely color block this because it is broken up in that way. Or you could do like a print at the top and a solid at the bottom. I think I want to do something like that. Um, you know, for the fall, I think it'll be nice and interesting to add like some pizzazz to one of your outfits. My next video is actually going to be, um, I did like some DIY art pieces. I'm going to be sharing those on my channel. I'm just going to do one more, um, that's going to be in my room so I can just share them all together instead of splitting them up. I'll be doing my fall decorating this weekend. September 1st is, I believe, Friday, Thursday or Friday. So I can't wait. Like I almost put out my fall decorations last week but I was like you know what wait till September 1st at least so that's gonna be coming up pretty soon too so yeah if you like content like that go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video and until next time bye